Brecky's back again with another pickup video for you guys. As you can see here, you got an Adidas equipment box. Pretty much, it uh, looks like a shade of olive with some green on it. It's weird because some of these uh, basket models, sometimes they come with a black box, sometimes they come with an equipment box. I think the last pair I owned with this kind of box was the Iman Shumperts, the, the Packer Shoes uh, Special Edition. Well, here's a quick look at the box numbers. I have no idea what these codes mean. Black 1, Black 1, RGPUMB. Uh, I'm sure there's an official colorway somewhere online, which I'll probably look up. And I'll flash the official colorway down here somewhere, right here. Anyway, let's get right into the shoes. So here they are. Here are the All-Star Game uh, Crazy 8s, uh, or the Kobe Bryant 8s. They used to call these back in the day when uh, Kobe was still with Adidas. They ended up changing it to Crazy 8. Been retroing this model a lot because a lot of players have been wearing this shoe a lot. Um, I ended up grabbing these for I think $90 Canadian. That's probably around 80 USD. Here's a quick look. Here's your number 8. Of course the, the gold and purple of the Lakers. Um, so yeah, I ended up grabbing it for really cheap because um, Adidas has the Good Life collaboration for 40% off. And um, if you missed my last video, I'll also post the link in the description box down below. Reebok and Adidas Canada only have 40% off all regular price products. This happened to pop up on a site the day after the sale started. And uh, so yeah, I grabbed a pair of these and uh, they've been selling really well. And uh, this actually came in one day, which is really surprising. But uh, craftsmanship on my pair is not the best at all. I'll show you guys in a sec. But overall, on the upper, it's not too bad. Stitching could be better. I had an OG pair of the all black version of this with the gold number 8 right there. Uh, a long time ago, and I beat the crap out of it. This this is I'm, I'm talking about like uh, I think it was a 2006 to 2007, some, some somewhere along that time frame. I had a pair of the all black, and I beat the crap out of it. I ended up selling it for 50 bucks, um, and that one was a size 11. I picked up a size 11 and a half for these ones. Uh, of course, I grew. I was in middle school when I had the pair of those, so this one fits perfectly. Uh, I suggest getting your true size. I am a true 11 and a half, but uh, I usually get 12s and Nikes. But if anything, go try on the multiple colors your local Falaka probably has or your champs, whatever. Let's take a look at the other one. I'll show you guys all the problems that the shoe Honestly, came I don't with. know if you guys are going to pick this up on camera. Hopefully it does. But the, the midsole cutting of the phylon is not very nice. You also got some glue kind of coming up right here. More midsole cutting that's not on point. You got some uh, little, I call it acne. You got some bumps right here, 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 and here. All along. So just many bumps across the midsole. Not really sure if that's a production problem within all the pairs or just this one right here there's nothing wrong with the bottom but uh, there's still some pimples down here here you got a gluing issue right there the midsole here is also wrinkled but I'm not planning to exchange these I mean when you have them on foot you won't notice much of a difference my main issue with these is really the, the little bumps across the midsole. The left shoe is pretty bad right here. I don't know if you can pick that up. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, the gluing right there. I'll probably take a couple pictures as well. Got a gluing issue right there. You got more wrinkles, more pimples along the midsole right there. And uh, this side right here is already stained black. I don't know how. This 
stitching on the leather is also sticking out a little bit. I already cut out the most of the pieces. I think Shoelander was calling these the nose hairs. Shout out to uh, Shoelander. He already did a review on his pair of uh, Damien Lillards. And uh, I have a pair of those on the way. Well, anyway, let's get you guys some on feet footage. Here are they on feet. Let me know what you guys think. It's a really, really funky shoe. But uh brings me a nostalgic feeling I had these back in 2006 or 2007. And again, that's another Kobe shoe. Can't pass on that. Um, I definitely can't buy those, uh, whatever the Kobe 1s and the Kobe 2s though. Those just look really funky. And uh, don't like them at all. They just look hella funky. Like Spaceman shoes. Can't do with those. But this pair I owned a while back, so here's another pair. Totally forgot I had these ones. Let me just grab these out quickly for you. Now I got a complete set with the EQT Elevation and the Crazy 8 All Stars as well. Which one do you guys prefer? The Crazy 97 or the Crazy 8? Personally, I prefer the Crazy 8. Fits more comfortably to my foot, but both cool shoes, both funky looking, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Feel free to leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.